Hello, welcome back to Cinema Burger, where I bring you movie reviews from a different perspective. Today we're here to talk about the movie Nine Days, starring Winston Duke, Zazie Beetz, Benedict Wong, Tony Hale, and Bill Sarsgaard. Winston Duke stars as Will, who uh, interviews souls to potentially be born, and gives them nine days with rigorous tests and things to see if they're up to it. So, Zazie Beetz, Bill Sarsgaard, and Tony Hale are all potential candidates. Benedict Wong kind of sees if he's make if Winston Duke is making the right choices, so he kind of assists him and like is his friend. So now, when I saw the trailer for this, I wasn't sure what it was about. I thought it was people getting into life changing experience. But when I watched the movie and I thought, oh, this kind of reminds me of the movie Soul from Disney and Pixar, except a lot more grounded and stuff. So it's interesting that uh, they did that. I wonder which idea came out first. But Winston Duke is very, like, performance is very reclusive and uh, limited, I mean, not in a bad way. He's a troubled man and someone who's very uh, precise about what he does. Zazie Beetz plays Emma, who uh, is a potential soul, and she wants to see the good in everything. Bill Sarsgaard is, uh, plays Kane, and he sees, like, the, uh, the bad in everybody. Now, Winston Duke and everyone else, they watch these screens of, like, people who have been born to see how they're doing and seeing, like, how their life has po progressed. Now, it's Winston Duke's character lives, like, on in this house in, like, the desert, it looks like. So, it's movie takes place in one location. Overall, I thought it was pretty good. Um, a little slow at times. The movie's about two hours long. Um, like I said, this, while this is an interesting concept, but I feel like because Soul just came out last year, I'm like, oh, this has kind of been done already? And that's a little sad because this is such a clever concept. So that's my biggest problem with the movie is that I've kind of seen this concept already and because especially in a world of sequels reboots adaptations this is something very different and new but not as new as you'd think so that's why I give this like a three out of five burgers because the acting is great and the drama and the emotion is very strong in this movie and I would have given it more for the concepts, but like I said, Soul kind of did this concept already. And only not even uh, a year ago. So for that, I have to take points away. But this movie is playing in select theaters. It'll be on demand soon. Definitely check it out if you want to see something different. And if you haven't seen Soul, or even if you have seen Soul, check it out. But this kind of is like Soul from the perspective of all the just the people in like heaven or wherever that took place but yeah Winston Duke is great so is as he beats and Benedict Wong I think he's using his actual voice because he usually does an American accent but he's not American so it's nice to hear that from Benedict Wong and he also played a more like outgoing fun character as well so it's nice seeing that Tony Hale plays one of the potential souls. He's fine. He's not in the movie that much. And Bill Sarsgaard plays a very um, reserved character as well, but good performances all around. Now, the writer and director of this movie's name is Edson Oda. This is his first feature-length movie. He's made a lot of short films. I would like to see more from this director. And, uh... We'll see what he does next, but, uh, yeah, like I said, three out of five burgers. 
I'm Scott Berger, and I'll see you next time.